Y'all know what's going on. It's time for another episode of Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker. Today, I'm going to be talking to some young men that are into the music business. That's not my lane, but I'm going to be talking to them. They're trying to get their jump started. They have this single that's coming out uh, called I Got a Question. And it's very, in my opinion, uh, mind-provoking, thought-provoking. Um, the inspiration behind it, it's a story there that I think you're going to be impressed with. I'm not going to give up too much in my intro uh, because I want these young men to tell this story, how they put this together. Uh, I think you're going to be impressed with them. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, Joe? <laughs> look, sounds like a lot of energy, but look, if, if, if y'all were here to look at their faces, you, you get a different picture, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look here, check this out. Before we get started, I want to, I want each one of you to introduce yourselves. Uh, I want to go with um, the artists first, the people that put it down, the people that wrote it and did it. Let me go. Y'all start out first. Uh, what up, though? I am the world-renowned, illustrious, multi-talented Emperor Malik. Emperor Malik. Yes, sir. Emperor Malik. What do you hail from, Emperor Malik? I come from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids. Yes, sir. Dig that. Dig that. That's what's up, bro. Good to have you. Thank, Thank you for Joe. doing this. I appreciate Thanks you agreeing to doing on. this, man. Uh, Thank you all. Amazing talent. And uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping that people really resonate to your voice and, and hear what you have to say with this, okay? That. Yes, sir. And who are you, sir? I, I'm Tracy's son, Josh. Tracy's son, Josh. Um, Where do you hail from? Tracy's I'm from Memphis. Son. You from I'm the from M? Memphis. Yep, I'm from Ooh, Memphis. We, we got one from the M, y'all. <laughs> we got one from the M. What's going on, bro? Oh, man. This. This, this, to me, this is an amazing song for me. And yeah, so, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that, right? And I, Because I, I, I know you got an amazing story behind that. And I want to hear the story behind your name, too. Tracy's son, right? But I, I, uh, but hold on just a second. I want to get to the the producer of this thing. Yeah. Introduce yourself, What's y'all. What's going man? on, y'all? My name is Malcolm, a.k.a. Mac, man. You know, I've been making music for a little while. I just, no, I've been playing. I'm playing keyboard all my life, so you know. Yeah. Well, where do you hail from, man, uh, Malcolm? Born in Kalamazoo, Michigan, man. Raised in Nashville, Tennessee. Kalamazoo. Yeah, yeah. Dig that. Dig Zoo. that. Yeah. Yeah. So we got two Michigan guys up in here. Yeah. Yeah. I bet y'all wish y'all didn't come to Tennessee. <laughs> 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 but anyway, man, look, I appreciate y'all doing this, right? Um. So, uh, Tracy's son. Yeah. I know that you. Uh, inspired this song, or well, you were inspired to write this song. Tell me the story behind it. Oh, well, I was reading a story about Tanisha Chappelle. I don't know if y'all ever heard of her, uh, but I just recently learned about her reading an article in Rolling Stone magazine. Yeah. And the inspiration came from behind that because it was emotional. When I read a story, I can't connect it to it because I can identify what she, what the things that she was going through. What, this, what, what was the article about? It was about how she had to die needless, needless. Okay, part. I got you. Needlessly, it's okay. Calm I, down. I told y'all he was nervous, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, um, because of racism, she died. You know, she she had to go through what she had to. Okay, but wait a minute. Tell me the circumstances of how she died. Not, okay. Not your assessment of it, but tell me how what happened. Uh, she was in a, a small town in Indiana. Okay. Uh, I think it was Brownstown. Okay. She was allegedly, um, said she was supposed to be stealing something. So she got pulled over by the police. She ran and it led to her again, locked up and charged with theft. Right. But while she was in there, they didn't know anything about her medical history. And, and they never put the officer that locked her up, never. They never put, checked. Never checked or never put anything about American history. So she was trying to get the staff at this, I'm, I'm assuming small j- county jail. Right. To uh, bring, get, uh, bring, 
give her some medical attention. And they refused to give her medical attention after numerous attempts by Tanisha to show them that she was in dire straits. And right. she she showed that she was bleeding when she was bleeding when she was vomiting. And and it, I never seen I, I never got the visual uh, or they said it was all over the news and stuff when this happened, but I'm just learning learning about it. And so tell me what what was her medical condition? Uh, it said she had a sickle cell. She had sickle cell. Okay. And so, but they they didn't took it they didn't take her plight seriously. So for 19 hours she's laid in agony. And after 19 hours they decided to give her medical attention, but at that time it was too late. And she died after they took her to the hospital. So it, it was the 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 story behind it. I want, the story came to me because I felt that pain. Like it's not I'm not directly connected to her, but I'm connected to her in the sense that she went through it because of her skin color. You say that because how do you know that? Um. I done had experiences. No, I said, how do you know that that's what, how, why she went through that? that there, was the yeah, article? the story told that this, well, they in the, in the, in the article it explains that while she was locked up, it was talking about the racist slurs that was they projected at her, they were right. throwing at her, right. and being right. she was the only black female in this jail at the time. She was okay. the only black female in this jail, right? Okay. Here. And so it brought out the racism. And, right. I got it. I got that's, it. It's that's, okay. That's, it's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. But I, I look here. But tell me, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna jump a little bit. What what's the what's the story behind your stage name? Tracy's son Josh. What's uh, I lost my mama a while ago, so I felt like I had to pay homage to her and bet that. Another another you thing another unique thing about that name is when I was younger. Everybody knew who my other siblings were by their name, but never could figure out who I was. So it, when they were trying to figure out who I was, they, and people who knew me but didn't know my name would say, yeah, that's Tracy's son right there. That's our oldest son right I got there. You. I got you. And so to me, I said, well, then, I, I, and, and, and how much to my mama and respect to my mama, Dig. I'm going to use it because to me, that, ha that holds a lot of value and meaning to me. Dig that. Dig that, dig that. I'm gonna ask you one more question before I move on. Um, I, when I listen to the song, uh, you talk about Tanisha. Right. You talk about the shooting at Covenant. It was about a month ago. Uh, six people were killed, three kids, three adults, at this school in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, what you say in that, in your song about that, uh, did that have any effect on you as well? Yes, it did. Why? Because um, the babies is what really the babies. Mm -hmm. The babies is really what I'm. Just, I'm just like it's it. I, I don't understand why are we still playing politics and kids are losing their lives and that's 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 crazy to me because I have nieces and nephews that I love dearly. And I can't sit back and not feel some type of way when I hear and see these things on a daily. And so I had to draw, I had to add that into this song right here to draw people attention that I I see this right here. Got I, it, got it, got it. Dig that, I respect that too, right? Because a lot of times, uh, especially those of us in prison, uh, we feel like there's nothing that we can do to contribute in a positive way to try to do something about the things that are going on out there. And I really want to uh, thank you for uh, drawing right. on that energy and doing that, right? right? But let's get to Emperor Malik here real quick. Yes, sir. Real quick before we get to this song. Um, what inspired you, you know, that verse that you wrote, that 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 was something, man. What inspired you uh, and, and, and helped you come up with those words that you wrote? Oh, it was actually, it was actually Tracy's son, Josh, man, when he, he told me that he had something that he think that I would be able to, or I'll be interested in, and he let me hear yeah. the, the the chorus uh, and a little bit of the verse, and I was instantly hooked because I, I'm uh, a young black male myself. Yeah. 
And uh, I've been keeping up with the story about Tyree Nichols and all the other yeah. brothers all the way back, Trayvon Martin, all right. of these different things and these current events. So it touched me. And I'm like, man, well, yeah, I do want to be a part of it. I do want to be able to tell my perspective. Exactly, of what's going exactly. On. Dig that, dig yep. that. I appreciate that too, man. Uh, let's get to Malcolm here, the producer. The producer. Tell us about that beat that you put down. Where, where did that come from, man? Man, it started really with, uh, man, Tracy's son pulled up with me on the, in the pod, man. He was like, I, I wrote something cold, so, you know, he started beating on the table, <laughs> man. I was listening to it. I was like, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's hard. Yeah. That's nice. I was like, man, let's, let's go down to the music room the next day, you know, put a little beat to it. So, yeah. You know, I just started playing like a little melody. He said he wanted something like uh, emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah something like emotional, little, yeah. Yeah, a little melody, yeah. man. And he uh, yeah. said he liked it, man, so he... Dig that. You know, yeah. dig that, dig that, dig that, dig <laughs> that. Let, let, me, let me say this for all of y'all out there listening to my show. You, you know how I get down. Uh, it's a lot of talent in here. And uh, most people in here uh, spend their days uh, involved in things that uh, are not uh, positive and constructive. It's not because they necessarily want to. They just don't see a way to contribute. Uh, but these guys here... Uh, I'm so proud of them because they decided that they were going to do something. And they're putting in work. And uh, I think that they deserve a listen. And uh, they're going to be coming out with some, with some stuff soon, I hope. You know what I mean? But yeah. tell the people real quick, before we get to, the, to this uh, uh, amazing song, uh, what your future plans are and where they can uh, possibly get some of your music. Uh, me and... Well, me and Mac got one coming out called uh, Mac and Malik that we're working on right now. We got some tracks done. Right. So we're going to try to set up a SoundCloud page or right. uh, also a YouTube channel where people can go and check out this music real soon. We got right. some nice stuff coming. Right. And uh, hopefully y'all get to do something else with, uh, with, with Tracy's son, Josh, in the future within the next year or so. That's what's up. Uh, well, as far as I am, as far as I'm uh, doing my thing, uh, I'm trying to go through social media. Right. Uh, set up my own Facebook. Uh, set up my own Facebook, my own website, uh, and use all platforms that are available to me because this is a new experience for me. Right. So I got to get it down packed, and once I get it down packed, y'all will hear more because I got plenty of other songs. They touch on a lot. So. Right. So. Now y'all keep in mind out there. You know, for the most part, most people in here we're totally cut off from social media. Without our family helping us, we have no way of doing anything. So. That's another reason why I want you to pay attention to this song because the process of putting this song together is not an easy one, especially for anybody that's incarcerated. Y'all already know how difficult it is for me to be able to do my shows. This is a monumental achievement. This is something real and big that they've done. And I really want all of you out there to listen to this song, man. Share it with your friends on your platforms. Let's get this thing around, man. Encourage these guys. And it's not only going to encourage them, it's going to encourage other people coming behind them to say, hey, you know, I can do that too. It doesn't matter that I'm locked up. You know what I'm saying? But you're not locked out. That's what the message we want to push out there to y'all, okay? So listen to this song, y'all. Listen, y'all got anything else to say before I get to it? No, this this right here, right there, man. I, I'm, I'm I'm way far. Are you sure? Ah, absolutely, man. Well, without any further ado, introducing the world premiere of "I Got a Question," a track by Tracy's son Josh, featuring Emperor Malik, produced by Matt. Musical fix, coach. Question. God, why we hate it so much? My people been through so much of the bullshit. We don't know who to really trust. All our faith is in shit that don't mean much. Trying to get through these stress praying for better days. And all that we got to go off is a blessing. I got a question. 
God, why we hate it so much? My people been through so much of the bullshit. We don't know who to really trust. All our faith is in shit that don't mean much. Trying to get through these stress in. Praying for better days. And all that we got to go off is a blessing. Shout out to Justin and John for trying to bring justice right back to the home. Raising some biggest devils and demons that need to go back to the hell you belong. Hunters just delivering a message. About to go post it like Carl Malone. Everything we gon' stand for all that bullshit. Camera sex and then you gotta be wrong. They shoot up the school, but you worry about the core. Talking about business, we need a four. Black Lives Matter, so fuck that decor. Tyree nigga, his life was important. Tennessee 3, they can vow for the story. We stand for equality, it's not about gore. Tennessee pants, we all got a story. And when it come to it, we just can't ignore it. Lost three babies in covenant. When it happened, if we had a government that stood for what it believes in. So fuck all them rules and proceedings. Can't have an abortion or killer, baby. But you can have guns that a killer, baby. Damn. Damn. But you can have guns that a killer, baby. Tanisha, I never knew you. I know you special. God only take who we trust. Present you are. He knew you were tired of the press. He knew you were tired of the press. Heard you can light up the room when you smile. Lift everybody when you come around. The darkest of hours you had to experience. I hated that you had to be in the town. God, I'm leaning on you. What do my people then I gotta do? It's been 150 plus years since Abraham Lincoln came through. So got they foot on our neck. And this bullshit is a reflection of that. So got they foot on our neck. And this bullshit is a reflection of that. I got a question. God, why? Why we hate it so much? My people been through so much of the bullshit. We don't know who to really trust. All our faith is in shit that don't mean much. Trying to get through these stress in. Praying for better days. And all that we got to go off is a blessing. I got a question. God, why we hate it so much? My people been through so much of the bullshit. We don't know who to really trust. All our faith is in shit that don't mean much. Trying to get through these stress in. Praying for better days. And all that we got to go off is a blessing. They go them flashlights. Them devils don't act right. A pitiful sight. I've been innocent victim, they caught him and murdered him last night Gotta run for my life, ain't tryna get jammed up Tyree Nichols was handcuffed, they beat him to death You peacefully stand up and get shot with your hands up It's getting intense, in light of these current events I'm doing what makes sense, I hop out the whip Run through a backyard and hop over a tall fence Cause I gotta get away, got a new baby on the way Ain't nothing to say, and I ain't even did nothing So why they have to pull me over in the first place Now I'm in the worst way, they treat me the worst But they say I'm American, could this be a cursed land I'm labeled a felon and plus I'm a black man, running like Pac-Man I pray to Allah and I'm hoping to hear my prayer I run through an alley, I'm focused, I'm headed for home And I'm hoping I make it there Could this be the last stretch? I'm petting and hoping that this ain't my last breath Cause all of my friends are victims to the system I might be the last left I run up a flight of stairs and open the door It's a blessing I made it here This life with this ain't fair I'm pinching myself to wake up from this nightmare Malik, I got a question God, why we hate it so much? My people been through so much of the bullshit We don't know who to really trust How all our faith is Shit that don't mean much Trying to get through these stress in Praying for better days And all that we got to go off is a blessing I got a question God, why we hate it so much? My people been through so much of the bullshit We don't know who to really trust All our faith is in shit that don't mean much Trying to get through these stress in Praying for better days And all that we got to go off is a blessing